What is going on you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today is going to be a uh, PC video and I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, uh, all healthy, all that fun stuff. And let's get in the cards here. So here we got, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of uh, relic type cards with some, you know, game worn jersey and like a uh, bat used type uh, cards. So here we got the 2004 Leaf Limited uh, Frank Robinson card. So Frank Robinson... This is a, uh, you know, a relic card of his uniform and a bat. And the thing with these is the old school ones. I noticed it says a uh, game used, you know, bat or Jersey, whatever the case may be. And, uh, I don't think you really see game worn anymore. Now it's just more like, uh, you know, worn Jersey or something like that. So here is a Frank Robinson relic card. Going right along to, along to the 2001 Fleer Platinum Lumberjacks game used bat of uh, Tony Gwynn. So there's the, you can see the bat relic right there. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. And we got the the 2002 Topps Pristine Todd Helton a game worn jersey. There you can see the purple and the, with the Helton right there. Now we'll get into the the years here. Here we got the 1952 Topps Gene Hermansky card. So Gene Hermansky had a 272 career batting average, 147 home runs, 276 RBIs. And uh, one thing that makes Hermansky really stand out is Jackie Robinson uh, considered him a, a really good guy and a really good teammate, you know, during the color barrier years. And uh, little, you know, no one actually ever knew this, but Hermansky. He said one time during a game, maybe we should all wear the number 42 so we can confuse anyone that was going to try to kill Jackie Robinson during a game. And, you know, kind of lo and behold, sometime down the road, everybody wears number 42 now in uh, April for one game. So here is the 52 tops Gene Hermansky. Going right along to the 1955 Bowman of Hall of Famer Eno Slaughter. So Eno Slaughter uh, was nicknamed Country. He had a 300 career batting average, 2,383 hits, 169 home runs, 1,304 RBIs, and he was induct inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1985. I think that's a great look at in 55 Bowman of Eno Slaughter. Here we got the 1960 tops of Orlando Cepeda, Hall of Famer. Uh, he had a 297 career batting average, 2,351 hits, 379 home runs, 1,365 RBIs. He was an 11 time All Star and one time National League MVP. Inducted the Hall of Fame in 1999. Here we got a nice looking 1961 uh, Tops All Star card of Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub. And, uh, you know, I think this is probably one of the better all-star cards of Banks. I do like the 1960 tops just a little bit more. That's still a cool card in the 58. Here we got a nice 1967 tops card of uh, Frank Robinson. So Frank Robinson was a 14-time all-star, a two-time MVP, and then once in the American League and once in the National League. And uh, his number 20 is retired by the Cincinnati Reds. The Baltimore Orioles and the Cleveland Indians, and he was inducted the Hall of Fame in 1982. So there is the 67 Frank Robinson. Here we got the 1972 tops of Thurman Munson. I love this 1972 card of Munson. I, I think it just looks like a nice looking card, like the 72 design in you know in this card. Some of them are kind of off whack colors and all that, but the Munson looks nice. Here we got the 1979 Tops uh, card of Dave Winfield. So Dave Winfield was a 12-time All-Star, a 7-time Gold Glove Award winner, a 6-time Silver Slugger Award winner, and he was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2001. I don't know, I just like the uniform and the brown, and it looks kind of cool. So here's Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. Here we got the 1984 Donruss of Ryan Sandberg, Rhino. And with this, you know, the, how the crowd's kind of blurred out. I don't know, just a nice-looking Sandberg card. This is the back of his jersey. It's real cool looking. And this is a big shout out to the channel Cool Plastics. This is a 1985 Nike rookie card of Dwight Gooden. And, you know, these cards actually sell for crazy money now. I 
Uh, I bought this for $25 graded a couple years back, and man, these are going for a couple hundred bucks now. Just crazy. And this is my favorite Doc Din card I got. So yeah, I like the sunset in the background and all that. We'll go into the 90s here. Here we got some 1994 Barry Bonds, uh, Measures of Greatness. One of the greatest home run hitters of all time, and arguably one of the greatest San Francisco Giants of all time. You know, him and Willie Mays could really battle it out as two of the greatest. And this is a neat one here. Is, uh, this is the 1994... Let me get rid of that bad glare. The 1994 uh, Tops Finest of Bo Jackson. Um, my favorite Bo Jackson cards is him in the within the Kansas City Royals uniforms, but I love the early 90s Tops Finest cards. So there is a Bo Jackson Tops Finest. Here's a neat card here, too. This is a. Uh, I was getting a bad glare today, guys. I'm going to put them in those plastic sleeves. That might make a difference, too. Here's a 2000 uh, Pacific Prism NL Legends of Chipper Jones. Just really cool looking card there. And, you know, Chipper Jones, one of the great Atlanta Braves and awesome Hall of Famer. I wanted to bring this one up, too, because I've seen uh, the hobbyists pull a Luke Hoshaver card. So this is the 2008 uh, Upper Deck Masterpiece rookie card, Luke, Ho Luke Hoshaver. And Hoshaver is actually the first overall draft pick by the Kansas City Royals in 2006. And he's kind of one of those guys where his career has never panned out. And he was supposed to be, you know, just huge. But there's his uh, Upper Deck Masterpieces rookie card. Do a couple more cards here, guys, and we'll call it a video. Here's the 2019 Tops Living rookie card of Fernando Tatis. Probably my favorite Tatis uh, card for his rookie year. It's a cool looking card. And, um, yeah, I'm a little out. Oh, this is the 2015 Diamond Marshall uh, card of Mike Trout. Really cool looking card. It's got the, looks like a badge or something. Neat looking insert. And we'll end it with the 2021 Tops Rookie Card Gold Cup of Ryan Mountcastle. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I appreciate all the support, um, you know, up to 204 subs. That's really awesome. Thank you very much, and take care, everybody.